Well, hello there, and good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. Happy Sunday. I'm Frost PDP, and today we're playing Crusader Kings 2, Northeast Orama, episode 216. We got a problem. These little jackasses have declared a subjugation war against the Umayyads, which would mean, correct me if I'm wrong with my CBs, they would get land down in here and here. That is unacceptable. So, um... I'm being forced to make moves that I don't want to make at this point. Which is actually not a bad thing in a strategy game. It's good to have to make moves that you don't necessarily want to make. It means you're being challenged. But I'm going to have to declare war on the Umayyads. And I'm going to have to do it now. And I'm going to have to do it while a crusade is going on. And if I don't... Uh, it's not good. It doesn't end well. So, waiting was not the right move here, unfortunately. I thought it would be because he had to pay maintenance or whatever. You know, like you would think, right? Like, Horde is set to not reinforce, but, you know, it's still going to cost money. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure I get how that works. But, he'll be broke next month. And there's just not much I can do. It's, it's because he chose to declare on the Umayyads. If he declared on someone else, I could have waited. But no. So, this is, this is ugly. This is really ugly, because... This is going to be a, a world war, and it's basically the whole world against me. The good news is I have double the troops he has, almost. Except I'm, uh... I'm in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. I can't even declare with my troops raised, can I? No. I have to de de raise my troops, stand them all down. Mutter a prayer. I guess. My retinue is set to full reinforce, but it's pretty much full reinforced. I could train a lot more retinue. I think I've hit this number already and gone past it many times, but two eight stacks there. Any other useful numbers I can get out of this? Six thousand. He's sieging this. So if I declare, raise, hit right away, that's one stack out. I'll be so honest, I've never dealt with this before. Why do I have a discontent council? Oh, because they died. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. It's like, hey guys, we have much larger problems right now than what we're dealing with here. <clears throat> the only good thing about all this mess is that it looks like my mainlands are safe from any kind of serious threat. You know, World War is not that catastrophic at this stage. It's just the front lines I gotta take care of. The problem is getting the troops there. I mean, in this region, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30, 35, 40, 45. That's not even half. And they're retinue, they're good, they're strong, but they're just not positioned. Wish I had a little bit better of an idea where they were. It's more because this is an offensive war. I have to take the land. You know what I can do, though? That I almost forgot? White piece out the crusade. It's 
not worth it. I don't want it. I don't care. It's my threat level 92. Holy orders for my group should not fight me. I should be able to raise my holy order, bring them over. That'll be some troops. I'm going to have to bring all the troops that I can. And that's the bottom line. Let's reinforce at half. Like it. I don't like it one bit. Can I call the Great Blot? When can I call this? It's gotta be before March and at least November. So I'm gonna wait until November, call the Blot. I hope to God he doesn't win this war in time. Which he might. If he does, then I have to recalculate and I have to make a new plan. Good. Prosperity is always nice. A little more money doesn't hurt anyone. I still can't un vassalize these people. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand why I have all these vassals stuck under me that I can't give to anybody. Like, I don't get it. It really annoys me. Like, the Earl of Bavaria. Shouldn't you go under Austrasia? No, of course not. That would make sense. Earl of Albany. The Poland King agrees. Nothing. See, I can't even get my vassals to, like, sort out. And, of course, I have these diplomacy penalties and shit. Or is that my last character? I don't even remember anymore. Take one look here. Get a little more money out of my provinces, that's good. I'm not gonna take a guy with 27 off the battlefield, so. A little more money a month never hurt anybody. Sure. Good, great. Don't care. Morale of armies is going to be so huge right now. Just watch this. If it flips blue, I'm screwed. I should have taken the Kozlids out when I had the chance. Doesn't seem to tell me it does anything, though. How bad are the Umayyads losing? Wow, game lag a little, why don't you? Chantaland's invading. It's actually not winning. That's weird. What?
He's at zero. He's not suffering losses, he's just... Well, you know what, maybe he'll go broke. <laughs> Turned his word upkeep off. So he's he's making adjustments as he goes. I'm um I'm reconsidering. March up the coast, you can get there easy. I don't even want these guys down here. Get up to here. New mayor of Carolyn. Don't really care, but thank you. John Talan seems to be doing its job. Gain humble? Or arbitrary? Well, humble. <laughs> Not a question. Send gift. Recruit. Demand religious conversion. Can't make her shield maiden, why not? She's not one of the ones that she needs to be. Okay. Okay, great plot. Yeah, that's right. If anyone wants to live, now's probably the time to look. 74 ducats. Done. Get lost. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm in a port. Why don't I just stand him down and raise him later? I don't care. Bye, lady. Good. Good. More land. I'll take it. Battle opinion plus fifteen. The serving girls. Dumbass. Of course I'm getting hit by that. My lover. I have a lover who's apparently a lesbian. That makes sense. Sure game. He's married to my my uncle. Yeah, you know, just this makes sense. Sure thing. So I have a year. I have a year of plus 15% morale armies. Or army morale. So, what better time to use it than now?
he's losing his war. Which he's probably not. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So much straight for his capital, there's a chance. It's reminds me of the Command Conquer Red Alert's last levels where you're like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? Done. The omens are clear. Fulker Burger has declared a great holy war on Khan Temujin of the Mongol Empire and the followers of Tunagak and the Kingdom of Uyghur. All free Germanic men are encouraged to aid in the conquest of their holy places. Tyr will strike down their Tunagak. Very first thing I'm doing before I even think of forgetting they are enemies. That's fair. Thank you game. That's great. Why do they exist? They're my holy order, and I'm definitely not above 90 like that's bullshit. I'm sorry game It says 95% threat you're considered threatening enough that even your own religious head and holy orders will defend other defensive packs I'm not above 95% Why are they my enemies that should not have happened? It's a fundamental flaw in this game it really pisses me off to no extent. Okay, I guess I have to beat everyone else without them. Is there any chance of any battles happening right now? No. So, Why can't I raise my levies? not gonna fly at all. That my guys are gonna start because it's fucking January. I can't call Norway's troops. I didn't have any stood up. Oh, yeah. Everyone's like, we want some. Y'all don't understand. Where these mythical hundred thousand troops are, I'm going to take them out myself. We're doing this. We are doing this. Or maybe we're not, you know, depends on depends on whether or not my guys feel like it, I suppose. Wallachia? Wallachia has that many men, eh? Sure, I'll beat up 400 dudes for fun. So we need to remember, Burgundy and Australia don't have anything nearby. So that's 6,000.
own gardener. What do you actually have? Not much. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Ten stacks should be enough to handle this, right? Get it all together. One spot. Okay. Now I'm checking to do for perm. Of course, we need Danish Revolt, like we need a fucking hole in our heads. Let's do that. Be tough. Second of February, fourteenth of February, he's not going anywhere. Get them there as closely together as we can. With commanders, we need to win this first battle. We need to win it badly. Alright, we're going to have to take this step by step. But this is the big one. I mean, assuming we win this, which we should, I hope. I really, really, really hope. Then we will have our achievement. We should have our achievement. should but I want to thank you all for joining me and as always on this channel La Paz